Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for September 2nd through the 10th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do apologize that you guys are last. I feel like I saved one of the best for last. I am Gemini Venus and I am on the cusp. I am on the very day that it switches over to Gemini and typically you guys are right up at the top. And um, oh, the only reason you're last is because I had some beggars. I don't like beggars. Somebody, when somebody asks for the reading, it just it's a pet peeve of mine. We all have pet peeves. Every single person does. I don't care what anybody says. And one of my pet peeves is when you beg for a reading, it goes to the end of the list. I'm sorry. It just bothers me. It's who I am. Okay? So that's what's happened here. So I do apologize. Um, I didn't want to make you guys last. Obviously, I'm Gemini Venus and I'm Gemini Cusp. So, but my, my, my pet peeves are huge. So this is for um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but we'll see what happens. We're going to get three of these. We'll clarify them at the end with these. We'll get one of those. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Now, that's a really good message considering the words that just came out of my mouth. And like I said, I have a lot of Gemini in my chart. I've been looking at my chart a lot lately. I have a lot of air in my chart, so I'm earth and air prominently. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Divine timing, my dear. It's real. Oh, okay. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Trust. That's a good one, ain't it? That's a, that's a difficult one. It really is. Trust. If this situation is calling for you to have faith. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it is. And on the bottom. You deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. You are very lovable. Let go of control issues. Wait for the right time in every circumstance. Try it. Just try it see what happens when you push people don't like that shit they don't they don't and that's a message for myself as well I can get pushy too passion trust have faith have faith in the universe have faith in yourself have faith in the other person have faith period Gemini. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Yee. So you guys have avoided something. You have avoided a disaster of some sort. Thank you, Lord. And there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Something with a lot of passion. There's an opportunity for a new flame. A new partner. Something that... <laughs> I mean, come on now. That's basically the same thing right there. You have an opportunity for a lot of passion at this time. I mean, you're probably on fire. Okay. But you have to master your emotions at this time. Okay. Let go of the control issues. Let, let it burn. Let it happen. If you're overwhelmed with, with um, passion within you, and it seems like it's a little out of control, don't try to put out the fire. Let it go. You may have no discipline it though, you know, maybe, you know, you may try to control it, but this is like lack of willpower, lack of discipline. This is lack of balance. You may feel like this is a little overwhelming. Yeah. So I feel like you're probably having a pat. You probably are having a passionate beginning or a passionate time with somebody and you may feel like it's a little overwhelming because 
Maybe you feel like it's too good to be true. The situation is calling for you to have faith. It's like, oh my God, this is too good to be true. I can't believe this shit. I can't even believe that I'm feeling like this. This is wow. This is wow. Yeah. Take a risk. Replace fear with faith. This is faith. Take a risk. Step over that edge. Act impulsively. Do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. This is a this is fucking wonderful. Excuse my language. Um, yeah, you have an offer. You have an offer. Somebody's offering you something, but you don't trust it. You don't trust it, and that's why this card is here. It's like, ha, are you selling me? Are you selling me that cubic zirconia? You know, I mentioned it for Leo. I mean, is this true? This is too good to be true. And I feel like that's exactly what this is. I think there's a lot of passion. There's a spark. There's a flame. There's like a lot of, you know, whoa, you know, like that. It's like, oh my God, I can't. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And you may feel like whoever is offering you this. This opportunity is, isn't telling you the truth. You know, there's got to be something more to this that I'm not seeing. You may feel like you, you're acting naive or you're acting recklessly by just going with it because it just seems like it's, it's a little bit uh, unbalanced. It is definitely unbalanced. This person has knocked you off your rocker. <laughs> Look at this shit. Okay, and it's caused you some to worry. I think that you're very worried about engaging fully with somebody because, you know, that you're afraid that if their offer, whatever it is they're offering you, isn't isn't real. You know, it's like, damn, yeah, the spark is there and the sex is good. You know, there's a lot of sexual attraction here, but there's something going on that I don't know about. I think you're really worried about what's going on behind the scenes. You're worried about getting involved in something and it turning out to be a disaster. You know, you're really worried about that. I see that. You Maybe you're worried about, you know, getting involved, opening your heart, and then this person walking away. That's a scenario here as well. You know, I'm afraid to give you my heart and then you walk away. You know, I, I'm afraid of that. So I think there's definitely some fear here. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I think that whoever you're dealing with probably does have integrity, okay? Because this is a this is a person that is 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 giving you something um, that is real. It is definitely real. So you're. I think that right now you you might not know what you deserve, okay? Because this is rejection. Because I don't deserve it, okay? And because this is not deserving. And you see here. You deserve love. You are lovable. You may feel like you don't deserve it, and maybe you don't even know what you deserve. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay? Don't let your fears hold you back from enjoying this, this passionate new beginning. I mean, what's the worst could, that could happen? You know, what is the worst that could happen? Even if somebody did walk away, at least you'd have fun, right? Whatever. I mean... There's an opportunity for a a new beginning here that <laughs> you're really scared of because you've dealt with somebody that completely manipulated you in the past, okay? And that's what's exactly what this is. I feel as though you've you've been involved with somebody who Pretended they were solid, pretended they were stable and secure, and they were not. And, you know, so now you're really fucking scared. Excuse my language. I don't know where this is coming from. But I haven't sworn in any of these, I don't think. And But here we are at yours. Um, anyway, I think that you're really, really worried. You're really paranoid because you've probably dealt with somebody that was very controlling of you and very manipulative and I mean this is this is narcissistic OCD type of scenario you know you were dealing with somebody who was focused on everything but love they were really a, a, an ass okay this person whoever you dealt with in the past that didn't give you the real deal is is hindering your ability to allow a fresh new beginning with whoever this person is that's offering it you know you've been you've been um 
belittled it looks like you know and rejected by somebody in the past and it's still it's still hindering your progress with this new passionate beginning that you have you know this is clinging to control as well you know not everything has to be structured let your guard down give time to love if maybe maybe you are at a point where you know i'm i want this i do i really want this passionate start i want this passion with you i want this partnership i want this you know union but i don't have time for it is is that part of the issue are you feeling like you know your home your job your work is more important you know relationships need time okay they need effort you need to put energy into it so i feel as though in in one aspect for some of you you're not giving it the the energy that it needs if you want it to blossom if you want it to grow you're going to have to allow it and not you're going to have to make room for it you know what i mean you have to make you have to, you have to fit it in and you have to you be able to balance love and work love and home you know what i mean my dog is crying yeah somebody is you know there's a soulmate connection here that is being it's almost like it's being discarded because you are you are giving it the effort and I see that I think you're focusing more on everything but love at this time and, and therefore you know love isn't really growing because you're not letting it you know I don't think that you're letting it I think that you're you're focusing on your own securities you know and you may feel insecure about even letting love into your life because of this prick that you were involved with now they're not gonna let me have no ads on this one <laughs> so <laughs> Ever. but you have dealt with somebody that has closed you off and that's the way it is so um, but there's an opportunity for security there's an opportunity for stability and you have enough I mean it's not like you're you're struggling financially so why don't you why don't you um, take a risk why don't you lighten up a little bit Go out and have some fun. Lighten up. It's like you're throwing away a relationship. You're throwing away happiness by focusing on everything but love. Not giving love, making love a top priority. You, There's an opportunity for growth here with somebody if you would allow it. That's what I'm trying to say. But you're guarded. You're emotionally guarded because of this, you know what, from the past. You don't want a disaster. You don't want no found, false foundation. You know, you've got your guard up. You're, you may be holding on to a little bit, bit of resent from whoever this person was, whatever. Maybe they rejected you and you're still, because here's the rejection. The six of the, and so you're a little resentful over it. You know, that happens to all of us. This is emotional coldness. You know, I think that right now you, you have to make a, a decision. I think it's a stressful decision. Do you want love or not? Can you face your fears? You know, you have to make a choice. You have to be able to balance out work, home, and love. Look at the, I'm trying not to swear, the twos. Okay, we have two, two, two. All we need now is the two of cups. Two, two, two. Faith and trust, faith and trust. Choices, balance. Decisions need to be made about a partnership. Be yourself. Be authentic. Take the next step. Twos are a soulmate connection. I can see there's a soulmate connection here. But it could be thrown away because of your fear, your lack of faith, your lack of ability to put a lot of energy into it, you know. If you want it, you got to give it energy. you got to give it your time. This is your crossroads. You have an opportunity to go down a new path. 
but you got to leave this past situation behind completely. That mentality, that mentality that you're holding on to, the blockage. You got to unblock your hurt heart and allow this new partnership to grow because there's a lot of passion to be had and there's a lot of passion between the two of you. There's that damn two of cups, son of a bitch, but it's reversed. Now we have four twos. That's funny. That is hilarious. That's the last card I mentioned in it. There it was. Amazing. I'm sure somebody will say, you did that on purpose. Fuck you. Anyway, I didn't do that on purpose. Throwing away a partnership because you don't trust there's passion let go of the control issues come on now why would you throw that away Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You need to let go of the emptiness from the past. It's time to complete that phase of your life. Stop holding on to what happened. Passion. You need to go within and become aware. You need to step back and focus. Do you want to let this passion die? Or do you want to grow old alone? Because that's your option. You have an option for love or to be alone. What's it going to be? You need to take time out and think about this. Trust. <laughs> oh, God. You know, it's like you you got your boundaries up so fucking high. Let down your defense mechanism. Let the guard down. Let go of the need to pounce. You need to give this a chance. There's an opportunity for something solid. But if you continue to fight about it and or fight it and always be on the guard and be on the defensive and not have faith, you could you could lose this solid chance. You are being given an honest chance for love. But you can't replace that fear with faith and you are being called to do so. We're going to get you one of these. You may not know what you deserve. I'm here to tell you that you do deserve love. You are lovable. Whatever that, you know what, P-R-I-C-K told you in the past or made you think or whatever that's their own that's their own issues and you're they're still in control they're still in control if you're letting them fuck up the rest of your life i just won't monetize this one 
I'm sorry. That's the Queen of Swords in me. I'm on the day, May 20th, that it switches over. 111. I was born at 111, so I am. And my Gemini is Venus as well. Venus is Gemini. Grace and gratitude. That's a good one. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everything and everyone around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern-day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns that are on the road, whether, the, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem unsurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge. Replace darkness with light and allow you, and allow you to hear the chorus of your angels. Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. So this is basically saying, be grateful for all the experiences you've been through. Because look where you're at now. Look where you're at now. Look what it taught you. I think that you need to give the current situation that you're in or that whoever it is that you're thinking about that's offering you a new passionate beginning a chance with faith and trust. There is an opportunity for something solid, but it looks like you're throwing it away because you don't trust. I think you should give it a chance. Give it energy. Give it time. Balance it with your work and your home. Fit it in. Make room for it. Give it a whirl. There's a lot of passion to be had. Do it. Talk to you later.